saw this on Facebook the other day. Mickey's with me, aren't you, Mickey? Yeah, sure am, darling. And we can hear Hello. you properly, Mickey. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So you saw that article, you know, the newspaper cutting with the lady, and what it is is in 1960, it might be 62 or 63, it's not the clearest. It says oh, yeah. you'll be able to carry a phone in your pocket. And she's got a flip up phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, it's okay, isn't it? It's like plain as day. Yeah, I mean, that, that looks better than nearly all the phones that they brought out for a long yeah. time. Remember, like, you had to have something the size of like a double shoe at your ear or something. Yeah, well, I don't think any of us could have afforded one of those. <laughs> I just thought that was quite ironic to see that, but I've actually had a phone that was so small I could hardly punch on it to get anything out of it. The things were so small. Do you remember they got so yeah. small the phones? See, I think there was also one of um, Charlie Chaplin that sold a circus, I think maybe it was called. And there's, there's a woman in there walking with a mobile phone too. From the Charlie Chaplin circus. Yeah. So, uh, I'd love to see where we can find that one. Yeah, do you know what it says in it? Because obviously I can't read a lot of the writings. Well, almost blurry. I just about read it. But underneath her it says, Mrs. Joan, whatever her name is. Carrad, whatever her name is. Whatever her name is. Um representative of Mansfield Telephone CA holds up a pocket uh, sized wireless telephone that's a wireless telephone in 1963 so why didn't we have them earlier then we should have had all that in the 70s really it's 80s and 90s isn't it because any like any will always think oh we've always had mobile phones but we didn't well, mind you, what we thought was tomorrow as well, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is tomorrow. This was tomorrow as well. <laughs> it's crazy that. I mean, I actually quite like our little flip up phone. But um, anything else you want to say, Mickey? Because just making a little video about it. Well, yeah, but it was on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. And, and I don't, I, I don't really. They're always, they're always doing. <laughs> To me. I'm not really doing anything except putting links out, that's it. But yeah, um, I don't see yeah. that many posts, but for some reason, I think they must have gone on Sun and Moon or something. You know, we've got um, a messenger group on Facebook, so it must have gone on there. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, thanks, Mickey. No problem, Cam. sure how good this video is going to work on the live but I figured I would try it and I've got this piece up here because well I think it's a good example now if you look and we're going to put the eye right here this is going to be his beak now I want you to look in this area right here at how it is shaped Now, do you think that is by mistake? No, it's not. It didn't tumble down a creek and do all this. That is the same materials they match. <clears throat> I would throw some water on it right this minute, but my little squirt bottle's out. But I have a guy on my Facebook page that got in contact with me when he seen something that I posted, and it was one of these little totems here that everybody's laughing at especially the airhead guys and you're gonna be the butt of the joke when it's over with because you've been walking around picking up damn airheads when the same thing that they are pulling out of Gobekli Tempe any of the sites that say Tempe 
They're pulling these things out. And don't believe me. Do your own research. I'm just here to get it, to put it out there to you. Just look up Gobekli Tempe, okay? And I put out a short while ago of how they are reconstructing um, the site. And they are calling them T-shaped pillars, right? But the guy on the site says some of them they're digging up is not just T-shaped. The ones holding up the buildings was. But the ones they're digging up under the, from under the ground, they're looking like this, right? And this is the, the biggest site right now there is. I didn't know nothing about it until this guy contacted me. He's not an archaeologist. He is a, I guess, a helper, a laborer on the job site. And he has sent me some wicked pictures of these same stones we are finding all over the United States. They are finding in Europe and now calling it the oldest site ever, ever found in the world. Well, if that be the case, how you doing, false teeth, real strong? If that be the case, then America is the oldest in the world, not Gobekli Tempe. So they're, they're just making you think that these things are just in Turkey, but they're not just in Turkey. They're in the United States as well. And faces in stone. False teeth, real Turo. This in here now. Mike Turo. Um, Creek stain. Seven rocks. Joseph in California. Shout out. Chris Penny, who's been. Can't believe you ain't figured this out yet, man. To Tim Kirkendall. I just don't believe none of this. I'm going to smear it all in his face. Oh, to East Coast Relics. Um, look up Gobekli Tempe, dude. You, you, he's 16 years old, and he's telling me how quartz is formed. And quartz, when it was wet, it come up and it just curled over itself and made all of this. Yeah, each one of them little stones come up and made a damn totem. Boy, you got a lot of growing up. You're 16 years old. You can't tell me nothing. I got britches as old as you. Now this right here is to the right. Eye. And the beak. As you can see, it looks like the wing is brought over in front of him. This guy to the left, he's always sticking up, looking up. Do not take my word for it. I am just here to start you on your journey, okay? But I want you to look at what you're looking at, and, and I'm trying to stay as steady as I can. But look at what you're looking at, and folks with common sense know. You've seen my other pieces. They're the same. I'm not just stacking rocks. And if so, how am I keep finding these rocks that have got these beautiful bird heads on them? Which, when you find a beautiful bird head, if it's to the face on the right there, oh yeah, face is on the bottom. Yeah, face is on the bottom, exactly. No, and it's the nose, exactly. Good thing, good, see there? False teeth, real true, nose. The nose is actually the wings lapped over each other on the front of the toe. Yep, right there, Father. yep. But the bird piece sits on top. You'll have a body piece and a bird piece. Now, I want you, when y'all get off of here, look up Gobekli Tempe. It is a site in Turkey. You will see these same damn totems I've been putting together. These, they call them T-shaped pillars. Well, I want you to look at the T-shaped pillar. Because even off to the square block that they have setting up, on the right-hand side is a beak that sticks off of that square block. And on the left-hand side is that real flat looking face dude right here is always looking up i want to say lion man just by my if those of you that seen my owl piece but yeah look up go back late tempe any of y'all that's in these stones um and the airhead gal is oh i can't wait till this gets out there's so many folks i want to rub this in their face you just do not know 
so many times I've been called a meth head and a crack head and a you're crazy and got pareidolia. Well, you know what? All y'all have been educated into stupidity. That's what um, TOA, the other artifact, said one time that just stuck out to me. And then, just like Mike Turo said one time, um, well, there's two different, three different kind of people. Those um, who see it, those who see it when shown, and those who won't never see it. And they're right, you know. And and Faces in Stone had one thing that stuck out to me during all this, too. Old boy said, what happens when you leave one person alone with a bunch of artifacts? Now, what I want y'all to do when y'all were looking at these things is remove all knowledge you have been given on them because it's all false information. If you still think Christopher Columbus discovered America, you're wrong. If you still think George Washington was the first president, you're wrong. Just open your eyes up to things. But I really want you to open your eyes up to these rocks. And this totem. And don't take my word for it. Look up Gobekli Tempe. So, but anybody out there who wants to know um, what these are, just follow Gobekli Tempe. Because whatever that is that they're looking up is what we're getting. And you know what I would say? They're pagan. That's what I say. I say they're all pagan. I see pagan stuff in it. I see stuff we've been told is Egyptian. I've been stuff we've been told is Aztec. I see stuff we've been told Mayan. You know what I think it is? I think it's all the same shit. I think it's all the same shit. I think it's all the old world. This out of place artifacts, Uparts thing they do where they find an artifact in the Grand Canyon where it's a bunch of Egyptian stuff and they say, oh, how did this get here? Somebody must have stole it and tomb robbed it. Let's take it back to Egypt. And yet, most of the artifacts that's in Egypt was found right here in the United States. Most of them in the bottom of the Grand Canyon. And all y'all folks in Lake Mead, well, y'all were running around talking about the water level's down, the water level's down. Oh, yeah, I'd get out of there too because the water level's going down. But what they hid up under that water is that room that held the underground cities that the natives told them about, where they found all of these artifacts that did what? When you read the, up on it, they tied in all of the civilizations into one. The Smithsonian spent years and years and years and years pulling artifacts out of there. Once they got finished, the dam was finished, they plugged the hole and backed it up and the interest was up underwater and has been for years and years and years ever since they pulled everything out and locked it up in what the 30s this thing was found in 1902 from 1902 to 1930 it took them to clear this thing out so i'll take my word for it again do some research i'm just here i don't want you to believe nothing i say nothing i say I want you to, what I want you to do is forget your education, what you've been told, and just know what you know as fact, not what you've been told. If somebody told it to you is, and, and you just took it as fact, forget it, because more than likely it's a lie. Forget everything you were taught when you, give, when you read for yourself. But I'm telling you, these things lay all over the United States. They're the same thing as they can go back to the campaign. And all the other Tempe sites, there's about four or five in Turkey that they're undigging right now. And it's supposed to be the oldest sites on earth and revealing things that's never been seen before. And yeah. Oh, here I am. Should have put my hat on. Uh, but yeah, let me turn this camera back around. But go back to Tempe. Y'all look up all of that stuff and just do research that's all I want you to do but yeah as far as private goes it's supposed to be public I don't um, my better has that one of them come up private one time too but I'm not sure how or why but this is supposed to be public but just do some research. Don't let nobody tell you. Creekstain, brother, if I offended you when I 
said what I said about just stacking stones, don't take that personal. Or nobody else that's, that's one of my listeners that sent me anything with stone stacks. I know you had good heart and you got good intentions. I just, I want you to really just know that I have put a lot of work and effort into this. What I'm showing you right here, that is fact. I know there's more pieces than this, but why I'm showing you this, that this is a good starting point. You know what I'm saying? And if we build on this, okay. I just don't want to pile up a bunch of rocks and say, look, I made a whatever, you know. I want to hit it at a scientific type way, the way I've done this to from the beginning, you know. Um, I've done it different than everybody else has told me how to do it. Um, they said, oh, you know, don't wash them, don't this. Man, these stones been in acid. They've been in scalding hot water. <laughs> Don't dishwash and leave with anything else I could find to clean them. And you're not going to get that color off of it. Trust me, that color that's in that stone is inside that stone. You see where that stone's broke open right there? And it's gold and white. And that's there because they wanted it there. And you're not going to wash it off with no kind of chemical. So do not be scared of that. In fact, it cleans up the stone so much more and cleans out the little crevices and all that stuff. The stuff that that they want you to see, they, um, this, whatever this is, these stones have been an acid. This stuff is in all y'all's rocks. I've seen a lot of y'all's rocks out there that have this black type tar type paint. And I'll tell you what it is. It is, um, I'm pretty sure, Wicca Man. It's his face and eyes and stuff, but you have to look at him across the stone, not looking straight at it. You look at him with the small part up, which is the top of the flame and his eyes, but it's perspective. If you look across the stone, it looks different. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off because we had 13 minutes. But just know, I ain't out here just stacking rocks. This is gonna be a big thing when it does hit. And all of y'all, please, just when you find something, stick to that area. Don't. Don't go like they got you looking for um, airheads walking through fields. Do not. When you find a stone and it looks like something, you pick up every stone right there. Right there in that little circle. Everything that you see that I have on, on my, on anything that I post, come within 60 feet circle. Draw it out on the ground. That's it. So when I pull up these stones, this one is beside this one. You know, so the materials match, no doubt. And once you see the shape is just a body part and a head part, they start stacking. And once you start stacking, you realize they all stack the same. There were some pieces that made me realize what I realized. And this is one of them. This is when I found, if you see these two pieces here, you can just tell. They are of the same material, right? When these kind of things, they look like potatoes going in, you know? But when they come out, I was like, wow. So it was easy to put this stone with this stone. I mean, if you look at it, it's two axes, but look how the, this one sets inside of this one, right? This is what I call the head and shoulder position, if, if, if you see this is the way I got these stacked. Once I seen that, I was like, wow. These things are going to be totems. Yeah. And I've watched everybody's stuff out there. Don't think that I've learned this by myself. I didn't. I give credit to Rest in Peace, Paleo Mountain Man, uh, Faces in the Stone, Mike Turo, Seven Rocks. Anybody that's featured on my channel, y'all got me to where I'm at. I didn't do it by myself. I didn't do it with just the pieces I had at the time. I did it with everybody's knowledge before me, and all I did was took what they, even though it sounded crazy, took what they said as fact and said, okay, this is fact, and let me check it for myself. And when I did, I found out it's the truth. <laughs> they ain't just crazy folks playing with rocks. They owned something, and I've unlocked it. And that's all I can say. I mean, what you're looking at right now and the other example of my owl, which is clearly a pagan scarecrow piece. Clearly, this is pagan. I've seen Wicca Man. I've seen 
Oh, it's, it's crazy. It's wild. But just like, I'm just showing you one side of this. I mean, if y'all ain't seen my shorts, go through my shorts where I was taking the owl and just spinning the head and flipping it. And it was crazy. It, all the faces was in there. All the little animals. Um, everything is is wild. I've got, got some pieces that you see things better than others. That's why I always say bear looks, with, you know left and people a lot of people say you know this is bear and he's looking right but not really it's dog you just really have to turn around and i say they're all the same i haven't found a rock yet that or stone um that that wasn't the same i mean I don't know, maybe i shouldn't call them rocks i'm I used to piss me off to begin with people call them rocks <laughs> I remember when people, my first time, family said, man, those rocks, you got pareidolia. They was family members that I let have it. And and people that, you know, I kind of respected just because they didn't take serious what I knew to be damn fact, you know. I'm not, I'm not going to get in here and make a damn fool of myself and damn say, hey, look at these rocks, you know. You know, unless I know what the hell I'm talking about. And it, it don't take a rocket scientist to look at that and see that they're all building the same thing. In fact, I'll build one right here in front of you. Let's do this. Let's take a base and put it down. This is for the folks that say I'm using glue. And we'll take a body and put it down. Let's don't tear that one up. Let's take this. Now. The base is going to sit, say, pretty much looking straight at you. But if it is looking straight at you, then yeah, you just got to play with it. But I'm trying to do this one handed too. But yeah, I did it one handed. So it ain't like I'm sitting here gluing them together and, you know. And when you do set them up there, they just sit there. Look at his little head. It's just like the rest of them. Um, if you can't see a pattern in them two right there, I, I don't know what to tell you. Really. <laughs> I mean, maybe I haven't seen shit, but I'm seeing the same shit. So that's what's making me think it ain't pareidolia. It's making me know it ain't pareidolia. But you'll see right here is the same as before. The eye, the beak. It's this guy... And he's looking up. Sometimes it looked like he's howling at the moon, or maybe. I don't know what he's doing. Like I said, sometimes he looks like um, the lion man. And the and my owl piece, he really looks like a lion man. But yeah. And perspective is everything. If you take these things and look at them from different angles, you'll see all kind of crazy stuff. Just like in the rocks. I wish there was a way just to transfer. There's a the little Hopi Indian dude, right? If you see, here's his big nose right here. There's his eyes up here. So, all the stuff that we've been told is like different shit, it's all the same. I say Egyptian is the same as Mayan, is the same as Aztec, is the same as Gobekli Tempe, is the same as everything. It was the all the religion that the whole world was on before somebody decided to change religions. And I'll tell you this, and I've never been a religious person. You know, every time I say something about religion, I lose somebody, but I'm not here for, to make friends. I'm here to teach. All of Once I've got into all of these things and actually didn't look at Christianity, but studied Christianity, you know, and where it came from. Well, the religions before it, the, the Kishé Mayan Popovu, which I knew nothing about, you know. Once you learn it, it's the story of the damn Bible. It's just been changed around. And then you go reading back where Ken, Hen, Henry VIII is the one that said it all, and all the crazy stuff that he did back then. <laughs> That's why we don't know anything that we know today. It's... Everything, true knowledge in the Library of Alexandria and all the rest of the libraries that held knowledge all over the world that they burned down, they didn't want nobody to know. That's the true knowledge. And you know what? 
That's what's in these damn rocks right here. And that's why everybody says, oh, you're crazy for seeing it because this stuff's dead and gone, man. But there was so much laying around that what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? But I'll tell you, I know a little bit of what I know is because a guy who sells rocks, you know them little rock places you go by on the side road and they got them stacked up on pallets? How do you think they got in the damn rock business? They good money in rocks. But the, the money in the real rocks is the other shit they find that they don't tell you about. Now, I've got to have people send me emails that tell me I've been in the rock business for 30 years and artifacts and this, that, and other, and I suggest you shut up. That's what they told me. So what, I, what I'm unlocking here is nothing that's not unknown. It's just known within certain circles. And within them certain circles, they don't want anybody else to know. And it's something they do amongst themselves. It's kind of a little end thing. So when we get out here and we see them and we show this, especially me, the way I'm showing them in the form that I'm showing them, then, then I'm a threat to, you know, to them in their way. Because once people realize, I mean, I, I, I just say this. <laughs> I mean, grab a shovel. Grab, dig your yard. Ask Mike Turo. Mike Turo was putting in a fence in his yard in Florida and come across all of these artifacts and got on YouTube and said, what are these things? Because everybody told him they were rocks, but that boy was smart enough to know that what he was looking at wasn't a rock. And I got about a little over 300 subscribers right now, and we all know, or we wouldn't be here, that these ain't damn rocks. Because I bet all 300 and something of you have these, what they call rocks, in your hand. And you know by looking at it, this ain't by coincidence. It's not by coincidence that this rock and this rock and this stone and this stone and his stone over there and her stone and his stone in Ontario, Canada, and their stone in Turkey is the same damn stone. Naturally. If so, I need a mathematician to tell me what the fucking odds of that are. Because I would imagine it is slim to none. But I'm finna get off here. So, I can ran it long enough. But I just want the word to get out, really. I just, I'm trying so hard just to, I, I guess it's gonna come in time. It's just gonna be like, you know what? Pay little mountain man. Rest in peace. Smart man, spiritual man. He's spent most of his life, lost a lot of his family and friends in doing it. I know because I had the pleasure to speak with this man before he passed away. He was um, really one of the people that, that kicked me in the butt and said, look, don't read books, write them. Don't read He's the one that pretty much told me, forget everything you know. If, if somebody told you, forget it. Only know what you can pick up in your hand, look at, and guarantee and confirm yourself. Everything else is bull. And I took that to heart. And here we go. You see it. This is the second one I put together tonight. First one I have a little mishap. I gotta make the little holes right on these things. This one's actually done for the owl because I haven't found the base of it yet. So I gotta do holes for the rest of them until I find their little bases they sit on. But the base always goes this way. Always has a break in it right here. You always put turtle side down, sticks up. Right here, you have bird side this way. He's actually sitting on the face's nose if you look at it right here. It's always nose side down goes on the base. Well, much love, Mandy, all his teeth, whoever else might have jumped in here. But just know, y'all ain't got crazy rocks. And also know, stay in one spot. Also know, clean your stones, match your stones. And I guarantee you, 100%, you will have a totem in front of you looking just like this. Forget everything anybody else has ever told you and do exactly that and you will find some amazing pieces the same pieces they're pulling out of go back
and all the other Tempe sites um, right here in the United States from South America to Canada stretching all over the world and I say actually proves that all of the civilizations that they call Aztec, Mayan, Egyptian um, are all one old world civilization. Tartaria or maybe Tart if everybody's still around Tartarian stuff. I'm not sure, but um, it was all something that was here before us. And these are all geopolymers. They say these stones aren't work. The suburbial cortex is still intact, and I agree. I agree 100% because I agree they were not worked. There was never another rock beat against this rock to make anything else. Maybe that little piece right there where they knocked it out. But the rest of this was soft. You can tell by the way the stones fold in certain places. You would never get that to do that um, if you was working that. And if that was soft, uh, then you could take something and crease that in. I say they were a geopolymer or something like what Paul cooks into or a, a biopolymer. Um, something plant-based in the rock that hardened. Something like we have an epoxy nowadays. That's why I say there was. But that's 30 minutes. I'm going to break on off here. Y'all have a good, uh, good night, rest of the night. Much love. Go look up some Gobekli Tempe. Peace out.